Infrastructure is key to the development and growth of all countries and in keeping with this objective, the Kenyan government has been in the forefront in enhancing the country's infrastructure capacity. Early this year, Kenya issued a successful 18.5 billion shillings infrastructure bond, which was oversubscribed and the proceeds are being used on the construction of roads, dams, geothermal wells and other projects that are expected to boost the economy. It is against this backdrop of focusing on sustainable development of cities that the General Electric City Infrastructure Conference took place in Nairobi this week. This thought leadership event is the first of its kind that we've had and it's focused around cities. It is about facilitating partnership between the public sector and the private sector to try and figure out unique and innovative solutions for dealing with the massive infrastructure problems that we have in our cities. Already, the Kenyan government has initiated Vision 2030, the blueprint whose mandate is to transform Kenya into a newly industrializing middle-income country, providing a high quality of life to all its citizens in a clean and secure environment. We are going to have to develop our manufacturing, tourism, agriculture, wholesale and retail, financial services, IT services sectors. But we shall also have to develop social services, education, healthcare delivery, environmental and climate change issues, issues to do with um, the Truth, Justice and Reconciliation Commission, a new constitution. All these are components of Vision 2030 because it's about a way of life, not, pure, not simply a rich country, not simply a GDP, but a GDP that is properly distributed and where everybody has got access, uh, where everybody has access to um, judicial services you know, to healthcare services, to educational services, and regardless of birth circumstance. The event, themed African cities of the 21st century, brought together top government officials and private sector representatives from the region and looks at how public-private partnerships can be engaged to bring about development in sectors such as energy, water, transport, and waste disposal. The private sector must be creative. They must come and say, look, we think we can offer this service or this product much more efficiently than government. And here is our plan. And we shall take this up. A lot of the initiatives and projects envisaged in Vision 2030 will be driven by the private sector, will be funded by the private sector. So it is an important and crucial component of the delivery of the vision. The first in a series of forums in African cities, General Electric started the initiative in Nairobi due to its development progress and future targets under the Nairobi Metro 2030. I tell you, Nairobi has a fantastic future. The Nairobi 2030 uh, uh, program is intended to dramatically transform uh, the infrastructure in the city, including water and waste management, including the roads, including the energy, uh, as well as uh, healthcare. And these are all things that GE has a deep expertise and deep portfolio of products and solutions. So there is a huge opportunity here to forge a, a stronger partnership between GE and the city of Nairobi in order to enable us achieve and enable Nairobi achieve its goals of that transformation. The conference has taken place just after the release of Doing Business in Kenya 2010 report, which categorized Nairobi as a high-cost operating city, a result which has made key players in the government to act first to safeguard its competitiveness. We are turning many of our, many of our major streets into one way, uh, and hence facilitate movement of vehicles. Um, on our major corridors leading into the city, uh, we are very soon going to dedicate some lanes for use of uh, public service vehicles. And hence, the lanes that are left will be able to facilitate movement of the various investors that will be coming uh, into the central business district. Uh, by mere reducing the travel times, you are simply saying that the cost of transport is coming down. While previously poor infrastructure has been cited as a major obstacle in the country's economic recovery, Kenyans can now look forward to a globally competitive economy if the proposals here are turned into tangible results.